Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2020 Chevrolet Camaro LT1 Coupe, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2020 Camaro is Chevrolet's answer to the Ford Mustang and Dodge Challenger, a rear-wheel drive, four-seat coupe or convertible with several high-performance variants. Engine choices include a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder that makes 275 horsepower, a 335 horsepower 3.6-liter V6, a 455 horsepower 6.2-liter V8, and a 650 horsepower supercharged 6.2 liter V8. All engines come standard with a 6-speed manual transmission. A 10-speed automatic is optional with V6 and V8 engines, while an 8-speed automatic is available with the 4-cylinder. Okay, let's talk about what's new for 2020 with the Chevrolet Camaro. There's a new LT1 trim that combines the SS's V8 powertrain with LT design cues, resulting in V8 performance at a more affordable price. A 10-speed automatic transmission is now available with the V6 engine, and SS models get revised front-end styling. Other updates include a variety of new optional trim and appearance cues, including 20-inch forged aluminum wheels, red or orange brake calipers, a black Chevrolet bow tie emblem, Camaro badges on the fenders, and a new color called Rally Green. The 2020 Chevrolet Camaro is available as a four-seat coupe or convertible with 1LS, 1LT, 2LT, 3LT, LT1, 1SS, 2SS, and ZL1 trim levels. The LS and LT models come standard with a turbocharged four-cylinder. A V6 is available. The LT1 and SS models have a V8, and the ZL1 has a supercharged V8. The 1, 2, and 3 designations represent levels of equipment, but there are several optional packages and standalone items to help you customize your ideal Camaro. So we can see right here, here's our top three trim levels that feature the V8 engine. Here's your entry level V8 engine, now called the LT1. That's the one we're going to actually do a build and price on this video uh, today. However, uh, this car starts at what? $34,000 and it gets you the same 455 horsepower uh, engine as the SS. You just don't get the same trim. It's just a different trim level. And then, of course, there's that top tier ZL1 that has a starting price of $62,000. But where does, the, uh, where does the Camaro start? The very cheapest Camaro, the base model Camaro is an LS that has the 275 horsepower 2 liter turbocharged engine. And that car starts at $25,000. I actually did a walk-around review of a 2017, spent some time driving it, and I'll tell you, that four-cylinder feels like a very strong, healthy V6 and maybe even a good V8. It, it's, a, it's a pretty powerful, torquey little engine. Then you got the LT. That's just $500 more and at $25,500. And then you make a big jump all the way up to $34,000 to get into that LT1, which we're going to build in price on the channel here today. I think for true muscle car experience, I think that uh, that you have to go with a V8 engine. Thankfully, there's the new LT1 model like that starts at $34,000, and it represents the least expensive way to get a Camaro with a V8 engine. It's appointed similarly to the V6-powered 1LT trim, but costs $3,000 less than the 1SS. Now, as far as packages are concerned, I would suggest adding the optional technology package to get the larger touchscreen. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2020 Chevrolet Camaro. We are going to build and price the new, brand new LT1 model. It's now the cheapest way to get a V8. Now, real quick, before we actually get started, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links in the description below. I've actually done eight other Camaro videos. All of those videos are down in the description below. 
including that 2017 walk around review that I did. And you would might you might think, well, why is a 2017 Camaro relevant to a 2020? Well, here's the fact. Chevrolet did a big refresh in 2016 of the Camaro. They have not done a major refresh of the Camaro since 2016. So a 2017 Camaro, for all intents and purposes, sort of, kind of, is just kind of like a 2020 Camaro. Uh, I've also done lots of, I've actually done 22 Mustang videos. I've got a few of them down in the description below. And I've actually done, oh, six Dodge uh, uh, videos. And I have a few Challenger videos down in the description below. If you remember, the t the Challenger and the Mustang compete directly with the Chevy Camaro. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's check these exterior colors for the 2020 Chevrolet Camaro. This color here, Riverside Blue Metallic. I'm pretty sure uh, the walk-around review of the 2017 I did was Riverside Blue. It's certainly blue like that. It might be called a different color this year. Uh, or that year. Uh, this orange color is called Crush. Then we've got Red Hot that does look red hot. Then we've got a garnet red tint coat. It's a little bit deeper red. We've got a satin steel metallic. We have a Summit White. Looks pretty sweet. I like it in black. There's that new Rally Green that's new for 2020. Here's another green that, that looks like Gatorade, really. Uh, it's called Shock. It's called Shock. And then you've got the Shadow Gray Metallic. We kind of looked at a few of the gallery photos in the intro, but let's just kind of run through them a little bit. Camaro is a good-looking car. It's a very good-looking car. I like the Dodge Challenger a lot. Matter of fact, I just went to a Dodge dealership and was looking at all the new Challengers. That link is in the description below. But, man, the Camaro, now, now coming back and revisiting the Camaro, it's nice. Here's the real deal. Camaro, Challenger, Mustang. You might be one, you might love one and hate the others. Me, I don't. I love all cars, and I think they're all nice. I think they're all nice. Give me one of each. <laughs> so, yeah, here's the uh, the interior, the exterior photos. Here are some 20-inch carbon flash wheels. SS looks good. Yep, it comes in a coupe or a convertible, right? Yeah, nice-looking car. Let's check out some interior photos. There they are. Here's some interior photos. There are probably not going to be very many interior photos here. you got a digital instrument cluster. Very, very, very cool. I like that. Uh, yeah, so you have a rear camera mirror they show. Here's another optional layout of the uh, instrument cluster there. Heads-up display. If you watch this channel, you know I love head-up display. Here's your six-speed manual. Available ambient lighting. Yeah, there it is. I think we got through all the photos. Now let's move on, check out all the features and stuff, and then we'll do our building price of our uh, new, uh, what is that? It's the uh, LT1, isn't it? Isn't it an LT1? Yeah, it's the new LT1. All right, so features. Let's start off talking about mm, design features. Uh, so, yeah, front end looks pretty cool. Aerodynamic sculpting, heritage-inspired tail lamps. Yeah, those tail lamps certainly do look like the old-school Camaro, I would think. Chevrolet loves their packages, don't they? So here's the Red Line Edition, and it's it's an appearance package. You're not getting any more horsepower or anything like that. 20-inch wheels in black, black Camaro fender, Red Line uh, fender badge, I should say, with red outline, Red Line Edition graphics. So you're getting a lot of blacked-out stuff, red seat belts and knee pads, premium carpeted floor mats. Then you got the shock, which I called Gatorade. Shock and Steel Special Editions. Uh, again, these are just appearance packages. And respectively, they come with their own wheels and badges and carbon fiber instrument panel molding. All that's cool stuff, but at the end of the day, it's just an appearance package. Not going to make your Camaro go any faster if that's important to you. So yeah, while we're on the design page, they're going to tell us about the convertible. So yeah, it comes in a convertible, fully automatic soft top if you want that, with a push of a single button. Even it speeds up to 30 miles an hour, uh, You or with the remote key fob, you can uh, raise or lower the, uh, the top. Then there's an RS trim level available on LT models. There's an RS package that gives you a sporty style. Again, it's an appearance package. 20-inch uh, wheels, black lens, tail lamps, all that there. 
uh, rear diffuser. So yeah, cool stuff, but nonetheless, it's an appearance package. Then of course, General Motors has lots of accessories for your Camaro. Is that an illuminated bow tie in the center of that grill? If so, that is super cool. Check this out. They say every Camaro from LS base model to ZL1, top tier 640 horsepower one, uh, features a refined cockpit that's been carefully optimized for performance driving with aggressive seat bolsters, a flat bottom steering wheel, and exceptional ergonomics for shifting. There you go. Available options include heated and ventilated front seats, Recaro performance seats, heated steering wheel, power seats with memory package, red seat belts, suede steering wheel and shifter, and aluminum pedals. Looks like there's four little photos here. There's two, three, and four. Hmm, that looks pretty cool. What model is that? I don't know, some special model because we see some carbon fiber look there. All cool. Probably not going to get that on our LT1, but you know what? It's all good. That car has a starting price of $34,000, and we really want to try to keep it under $40,000. Let's move on. Since we're doing a building price of the LT1, we're not going to spend any time really talking about the ZL1. The ZL1 is a top-tier Corvette-engined, 650 horse, 650 pound-feet of torque. I actually did a building price of the 2018 Camaro ZL1. I actually, I actually, uh, I love to play Gran Turismo. Maybe you know that driving simulator game. I think it's the best game ever. Uh, that's for PS4. I actually have some gameplay of me driving the uh, Chevy Camaro, uh, and that link's down in the description below as well. Okay, so we went through design features. Let's talk about performance features of the 2020 Chevrolet Camaro. Yeah, from the 2-liter turbo to the ferocious 6.2-liter uh, supercharged V8. Yeah, there's a lot of powertrain options in the Camaro. So, yeah, here they are. Here's your 2-liter turbo. 0 to 65.4 seconds. That's, that's you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. I did a building price of your of the 2-liter turbo. I did the LS. I did the LS. It's there. Uh, very, very nice car. Super nice car. Then you got your 3.6-liter V6. Did a building price on this model as well. Then you got your, uh, your standard 1SS and LT1 and 2SS V8 uh, engine here with 455 horsepower. And then when you got then when you have plenty of money in your pocket, let's start with that, and you need the fastest Camaro, then here's your supercharged 6.2. And it's a fast one, isn't it? Yeah, it, it throws down for sure. Moving on with some other performance features, there's a dual mode exhaust, and there's magnetic ride control. It's standard on the ZL1 and SS with 1LE performance package. Uh, it's got performance traction management, da, da 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 We don't really need to worry about magnetic ride control because I don't think we're going to be able to get that on the LT1, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, let's talk about technology. Let's talk about what kind of technology comes on our 2020 Chevy Camaro. Mmm, my favorite. An available head-up display. The word available denounces that it is not standard, but you can get it. Uh, there's driver mode selector, uh, you got sport, tour, track, snow ice, there's also launch control, there's custom launch control, uh, available on the ZL1 and SS model, so we don't need to worry about that, and there's PDR, performance data recorder, oh, I thought that was only available on the Cadillac CTSV. But I guess, yeah, I guess you can get that on, yeah, sure, why not? At least the top-tier Camaro, the ZL1, for sure. Can you get that on the LT1, and do you really want to? Probably not. Oh, we saw this on in the intro, or in the gallery. Rear, There's a rear camera mirror. General Motors has been doing this since, the, since 2016 in the Cadillac CT6. Apparently, that technology has now trickled down, and now you can do it in the Chevy Camaro. Uh, standard on the 3LT, 2SS, and ZL1 models. Okay, there it is. If we can't get the, the rear camera mirror, I won't be crying about it. Uh, all right, so safety. Let's talk about safety. They say that the Camaro has a ultra high strength steel safety cage, stability track electronic stability control, and available active safety technologies to help you avoid crashing. 
Okay, let's see what these are. Now, we can see that the, the first word on all three of these is the word available, which, as you know, means it's not standard, my friend. Uh, available lane change alert with side blind zone alert. These are all things you want. Available rear cross traffic alert. Available for collision alert. Standard rear vision camera. And what I like to say about that is, is rear vision cameras have been standard for since like 07 or 06 or 08 or somewhere around there. Not the fancy pants version of a rear vision camera, but just the standard one. That, that That's standard in every new car. Uh, and then there's the available uh, rear park assist. Let's check some basic exterior specs. Exterior and interior specs, really. Front headroom is 38.5 and front leg room is 43.9 inches. They don't even bother to mention the back because nobody can get back there. <laughs> okay, nobody can get back there. So they're telling you your overall length is anywhere between 188.3 to 190.2 inches, depending on your trim level. The ZL1 is longer than the base model. Uh, and then the height on this on, on the 2020 Camaro can vary from, 50, from as low as 52.6 inches all the way up to 53.1 inches. Again, depending on the trim level of Camaro you are riding around in. Okay, so I think we've gone through everything that Chevrolet wants to tell us about the 2020 Camaro. So yeah, here's our LT1, uh, 455 horse, 6-speed Manny, manual transmission, standard, or you can get a 10-speed automatic. Let's do the 6-speed. I've been feeling like stick shift cars lately. Let's do the 6-speed because, you know what, if I had a Challenger RT Scat Pack wide body, mm, which is a beautiful car, I'd have to, with the 392, 475, four, yeah, 485 horse, I'd have to get that car with a six-speed Manny. So we're going to have to do this car with a six-speed manual transmission. So let's go ahead and click that building price tag. Okay, so now we're on the appropriate page. Here's our 1LS, 1LT. It gets confusing. 2LT, 3LT, LT1. Here we go. LT1 with a six-speed manual transmission is $34,995. If you wanted it with an automatic, it would be $36,590. So, yeah, there's our car. That's our trim. Let's move on to colors. What do we want for colors? Here's Summit White. Uh, Summit White looks pretty good. Uh, the black, of course, you really can't go wrong with. I see new Camaros on the road all the time, and they're all pretty hot. We're certainly not doing it in Gatorade. I can tell you that much for $395. There's the Garnet Red that's uh, whatever. You know what? Since none of these – the colors are fine. None of them are like, ooh, I got to have it. So since I'm, I'm feeling like that, we're going to leave it black. We're going to go black on this. 30, 30, they got an internet price at $33,000. So, okay, we got black. Uh, do I want any stripes or anything? Negative. I do not want any stripes, no stripes or anything like that. They got lots of stripe options. You could spend all day figuring out what kind of stripes you want. I don't want any of them. They got all kinds of fender hash marks, everything. You name it, they got it. Spider stripes even, whatever that is. Apparently, this is a spider stripe. All right, so anyway, uh, Stinger Stripe, Spider Stripe. What other names were there? Fender Hash, uh, side, Body Side Spears. I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. All right, anyway, let's keep moving forward. Uh, interior color, let's go to the interior. Uh, jet Black Seat Trim, there it is. Okay, packages, what did I say we should get? I said we should get the uh, technology package. Now, I already did a build-in price of a 2019 Camaro 1SS Coupe with the wicker package, with the wicker bill. So we're not going to do a wicker package on this car. We're going to keep this car simple. We're going to keep this car simple. We are going to do the technology package because I want that Bose. I want the uh, the upgraded uh, infotainment system and all that there. All right. Got that. That's $900. All right. Black interior pack uh, package. Nope. Winter, summer floor mats. Nope. That's all stuff we can get at the dealer at the at the parts counter. Satin black appearance package, black wheel lug nuts. No, none of that stuff. Let's go on to the exterior. Now here is where you can get fancy pants with some with some upgraded wheels. But you know what? I think these wheels are fine. Honestly, 
I'm not going to spend $200 or, or $1,500 or anything like that. We're going to leave the stock wheels on here. I think they look uh, wonderful. That picture, okay, I was going to say, if that's going to take too long, we're not going to watch that picture. Uh, mechanical options, paddle shift, well, you don't have to worry about that. Sway bar suspension upgrade, we, yeah, we want that. Boom. Now, yep, lowering suspension upgrade, we got to add that. Now, to me, that's a worthy option because I want this Camaro to be super sporty. So there it is. I'm willing to throw that in. I want the 6.2 liter strut tower brace. If you haven't figured it out by now, I love aftermarket performance parts. I love them. I love them. I love them. Uh, the brakes. The brakes are cool. Maybe I'll add the brakes later, though. Maybe I'll have the car for a while, and maybe six months down the road, I'll add the brakes. Because we're not adding any more horsepower, so we don't have to worry about stopping any faster. As far as brake calipers, let's make those red. Oh, let's do that uh, dual mode exhaust, of course. And let's do the performance air intake. That's a little extra horsepower, but not much. Okay, so here we are sitting just under $40,000. Still cheaper than a, a Dodge Charger RT Scat Pack wide body, all right, at this point. I do want the wheel locks. Just give me the chromies. Uh, second generation front splitter, front fascia extension. Wow, what does that look like? That looks pretty cool, but what about the splitter? The spl that looks the same, honestly. Uh, well, just give me the give me the give me the splitter on there. Uh, what do we got to add? We have to add too much stuff. Never mind. Never mind. We'll keep it. We'll keep it all. Whatever. Power sunroof. Nah. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and do the sunroof. That might be something I might regret. That's gonna throw us over forty thousand dollars, but it's still ch cheaper than an RT Scat Pack wide body, which I did do a building price review on. Uh, rear blade spoiler. Do we want a spoiler? Uh, in satin black and carbon flash. What does it look like in satin black? If it's not going to make us add a bunch of junk. Yeah, I want the spoiler. Spoiler looks hot. Spoiler looks hot. And since we're already into it with the spoiler, now I'm going to have to mess around here and get the front fascia extension. But, oh, that's why I didn't do it. You got to add too much stuff. Okay, well, we'll just stick with the little spoiler in the back. Um, second generation sidewalker moldings, no. Wicker build package, no. Illuminated bow tie, uh, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, silver Camaro logo wheel center caps, no. Performance wheel center, no. Uh, different fuel, ga uh, fuel cap door thing, no. Car cover, mm, maybe. Maybe. I think the red one looks kind of hot. I want to do the red one. We're going to do the red one. Uh, let's go to the interior next. Boy, that took a long time, didn't it? We already have the upgraded uh, infotainment system. Do we want the Recaros? Nope, because we're at 42000 It's already two grand over what I wanted to spend anyway. Uh, door accent trim? Nah, we don't need all that. That's what door accent trim stuff looks like. Man, the resolution on those pictures leaves something to be desired. At any rate, we're not here for that. <laughs> Illuminated door sill plates. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I got to bite the bullet on that one. Uh, we should have. We don't have the alloy sport pedals. Well, give me those. Okay. Yeah. Now they look better. I can see the pedals down there. Uh, I think we better get up out of here. Uh, how about remote start? Nope. Because we got to stick. We're not going to worry about that. There's interior spectrum trim. But we, boy, they can nickel and dime us. We better get out of here. We better get out of here. Uh, all weather cargo mats, weather protection packages, knee pads. What's the knee pad thing all about? Oh, this thing right here provides additional com uh, comfort. Well, how about black suede knee pads then? Okay, is that going to show? Uh, I can't really tell. Maybe. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I guess I can see them a little bit. Hang on. Yeah, there they are. There's our little suede knee pads right there. We can we can see that. Okay, so we got those in there. We're going to skip right over accessories. If you've watched enough of my videos, particularly any video that's a General Motors video, Cadillac, Chevrolet, uh, GMC, Buick, uh, any of those, guess what? Uh, they have all kinds of stuff. Obviously, we're not trailering. We don't need a trailer hitch. Uh, vehicle care, electronics. Uh, headphones and stuff. What I'm saying is, is the accessories are never directly uh, specific 
to a particular car. They're just throwing stuff at the end that they think you might want. Just little stuff like headphones and junk. And the reality is if you really want that stuff, you could get it at the at the dealer at the parts counter. So we're not looking at any of that stuff. Let's go to the summary. We're at 43255 Car ended up being more than we thought, but it's super hot. And there it is, looking quite nice in black with your standard 20-inch wheels. That's our LT1. It's your cheapest way to get into a V8 Camaro. Started off at 34, what was it, 34,995, 34, and now it's at $42,000 and change. Still a super hot car. Still a super hot car. Is it hotter than the RT Scat Pack wide body? I don't know about that, friend. I don't know. You got to check that video out. The link's down in the description below. And on that note, I'm going to wrap this video up. I still like this car. De definitely a thumbs up for sure. Uh, if you found this review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the very next video.